How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today, I, I got another mod to show you. And this one came out uh, well, a few days ago or whatever. I didn't get to it in time. So I'm doing it now. The GWC 1980 G74x4. Glitchworks obviously brings us this one. And it's kind of like a little tweak to the uh, farm truck that he did not too long ago. This is a commissioned build, so somebody liked the farm truck, but they wanted a few changes done to it. So let's go see what those changes are. All right, for engines, we have a 7-liter two-stroke inline-six diesel, a 9.3-liter diesel, and then a 14-liter V12. <laughs> well, let's go with that one. That one should make plenty of power. For gearbox, we have the 910 speed default, 10 speed highway, and the 8 speed off road. Let's do the off road one first. Suspension, we have normal height and lifted. Definitely gonna go with lifted. Tires, big selection of tires. Let's go with these 47 inch mud dually tires. I'm trying to remember if I put the dually tires on the 6x6 that he did. I, it, I can't remember. We'll, we'll just do the duallys though. Make the truck just a little bit more stable. Winch. That's stock winch. Stage two, stage three, and stage four. Definitely stage four. Snorkel. Yep. Frame add-ons. Got the two-slot grain box. It looks looks so cool. Got the heavy crane, log carrier, log crane, flatbed. A lot of your normal ones. Saddle high, saddle low. You got the stake bed. We'll put the stake bed on. Makes it look kind of cool. Miscellaneous. We have the cabin protector up there. Of course, with the stake bed, it kind of clips through it and whatever. I'll leave that off for now. Rooftop. You got the twin horns up there. You got the fog lights and then the beacons and fog lights. I'll do the beacons and fog lights. You can't really get them in frame here, but they're up there. Front bumper. We have the heavy duty pipe, single bar, fog lighter, just a stock, reinforced, angled, lattice, and then another stock. We'll go with the heavy duty pipe. That doesn't look too bad. Colors. Oh, you got this color. That doesn't look too bad. We got some normal colors. We can start getting into some two tones. I'm going to keep it that blue that it is, though. I kind of like that light blue. And of course, you got bobbleheads you can do with it, too. Let's go see how this one stacks against the six-wheel drive one. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I don't know what what the difference was. I don't know if there was too many differences. I can't remember, like I said. Well, interior. Certainly does kind of look like an old, old GM interior. It's a little dark, though. Definitely a diesel. This is a long truck, though. For just being a four-wheel drive, that's a long truck. And it'll pull the big boy trailers. We'll probably end up doing that later on. Do a little tow test with it. It flocks on all the time. I'm pretty sure it was in the other truck, too. Again, I cannot remember. Put it in full drive right away. Yeah. We'll take her down to the little mud pit here. We drop gear. That's okay. It's going through this just fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. Now in the, in the description, I don't think he said what the changes were so I don't really don't know the changes I mean this thing's just fucking flying through here we're in high and oh that's where we stopped yeah once you drop her back in the, the first or low gear I mean it just crawls through here you could crawl through this all day with this thing these tires are really really good Wow. Yeah, not really a care in the world with this thing. 
You know, it kind of has the in-game truck look, but it's way better than any in-game truck as far as performance. Yeah, this thing's doing quite well. Here comes the deep spot. Probably just crawl through this. Yep. Couldn't hold fifth gear. That's understandable, though. It's a lot of fucking water. We get out of the hole, and then we'll put it back in high and see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing just wants to go. All them horsepowers and nowhere to gallop. Yeah, this thing did really, really excellent through there. Comes the river. Way too much wheel speed. We put it in low, and it'll just walk right out of it. Yeah. Not too bad. Did pretty good. Let's go do some other stuff. Yeah. I don't know how well this thing's gonna do. I mean, the breakover angle on this is not good with just being, with just having a single rear axle like that. Again, this isn't what this truck is made for. None of the real, any of the trucks I really do this with are made for this. But it's so fun watching him do it. I gotta readjust here. Goodness, this truck is long. It's longer than what you think. Goodness gracious. Let's see if we can actually get it up there. I can catch one of them tires up there. I think that front end is gonna kinda get in my way. The approach angle isn't bad. Just, I think that front bumper is going to be getting my way. A little more than what I'd like it to. It wants to do it so bad. Ah. Oh. I mean, I bet if you gave it enough time, it would probably do it. Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> you found the right the right line, it, it would probably do that. We'll take it up over this way. See if it'll do this part. Oh, boy. Let me turn this big bastard around. Alright, let's see if it'll walk up this. Oh. Oh, it's close. Oh, come on. There we go. Again, the breakover angle is real. It's not good. I, oh, I, I bet if you found the right line, it would actually probably do this part too. But I really don't want to fuck around with that. We'll take it up this way. Oh! I don't want to flip it over. I'd rather not. Man, that flat front end really loves to get in the way. Did I have this problem with the other truck too? I feel like I did. Oh, you're so close. Well, I mean, we slid all the way over. I mean, it did it did as best as what it could. Goodness, this transmission is faster than what I remember. Let's uh, let's go put the highway one on and see see how fast we can really get it. All right, let's see if we can actually maintain the speed, or if I can control the goddamn thing. 
Oh, yeah. There's that speed. Yeah! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay. I just ruined the suspension. Thought I glitched into the ground again. <laughs> Yeah, I got a low rider truck now. Ooh. All right, let's uh, let's go pull a trailer now. I'm gonna grab this trailer. Put the ramps down. Let's go grab a truck. Oh, well, Mr. A and K, I request your services. All right, we'll pack it. Put the ramps up. Let's go head out on our way. Now, if I remember right, I think the 6x6 six six did fairly well, but I think the front end was a little light. I can't... I can't remember. Goodnesses. Oh, I still got the highway transmission on. Oops. Forgot about that. That's okay. It'll still do it. Just gotta watch my speed. She likes to get a little fast. Let's see if she pulls the hill. Let's see if losing that one axle hurts us or doesn't do anything at all. It feels like we're definitely spinning a lot more than, than the 6x6 was. hung up on something? There you go. No inching with this one. The tire's finally grabbed. I don't think this did as good as the 6x6 did. And this thing isn't doing too bad, though. I feel like this trailer and truck combo are pretty pretty heavy this thing's doing it pretty much no problem it is a pretty good truck in my opinion I wouldn't have taken out the the, rear, the, uh, the second rear axle the trailer. Come on, keep pulling. Come on. There you go. There. We got this. I feel like this is just struggling just a little more. I don't know. Go watch the other video and then come back and let me know in the comments. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. I might have to go watch it too. Because <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I wish I would have switched to the off-road transmission. I feel like the gears are a little tall for, for this part. The highway transmission. We're gonna see if it'll pull the hill. I I don't know if it's gonna do this. This is asking quite a bit. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> yeah, let's try and let's just try and get this to a good point here. Then we'll take her on down the mountain. Ah! Wow, it actually did that all right, and I ruined the gas tank and the, my suspension doing that. I got the 605 back there. Let's uh, let's fix the truck up. 
Okay, we got the truck all fixed back up. Let's go and continue on our way. Yeah, I don't think this this is doing quite as good as the 6x6 is. But if that's what that person wanted, I mean, more power to them. If they wanted just a single rear end truck, you know, that's on them. I don't care. It's still a pretty decent truck. In my honest opinion, I just think the second axle helps. Goodness, this thing will get fast with that highway transmission, though. I think we were going fast enough there to where the engine wasn't going to stall, but I bet if we were going a little slower, I bet it would have. So we're fucking cruising. <laughs> Comes the puddle. Right through the puddle. I'll keep going. Oh, we are spinning like a bitch. Oh, I'm burying the truck. Put her back in the first here. Yeah, and it just walks out. Doesn't really mind. Yeah, you can bury it pretty deep and just either click it back down in the first gear or put it in low and it just kind of walks out. I mean, I don't really need to see any more with this thing. Well, that was the GWC 1980 G74x4. Not a bad little truck. Again, I don't think it's as good as the 6x6 was, but the single rear axle one is not bad. It didn't do it too bad. It, it did pretty good, actually. It does pretty good on its own. It doesn't do too bad pulling a trailer. That trailer's kind of heavy, though, <laughs> with that, that truck on it. Some trucks struggle. Some trucks pull it with no, no issue. This one was, like, right in between that, so it didn't do too bad. Good job with this one. I didn't mind it. I had fun. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.